If you develop Android with lint warnings turned on, you've probably seen at least one or two warnings about allocations in drawing routines. Why is that? I mean, everybody knows that allocations have a cost, but why be so worried about draw time allocations in particular? What makes them so special? My name is Ian Nee Lewis, and I'm going to show you what makes on-draw allocations different and why you should be worried about them. First, let's state the obvious. On-draw runs on the UI thread, and any extra work on the UI thread is bad. Allocations are cheap, but they're not free, and there's always a small chance that an allocation is going to block, especially when you're low on memory. Now, calling a blocking method from the UI thread is a terrible idea. But that applies to any method that runs on the UI thread, right? I mean, message handlers, lifecycle methods, you name it. Why is onDraw different? Well, for one, there's the sheer number of times that onDraw gets called. And we want it to be called at least 60 times per second, right? So the cost of any work in onDraw is going to be magnified by that frequency, but allocations are especially problematic. You see, a high rate of allocations is going to lead to memory churn, and that leads to more time spent in garbage collection. That's insidious, because GC costs usually don't show up at the allocation site. In fact, newer garbage collectors are so good at running in the background that you might never see a GC-related frame drop. Instead, all of those on-draw allocations are being reclaimed on a different thread, and probably on a different CPU core, just stealing cycles from all the non-UI parts of your app and eating up your user's battery. Now, all that is bad enough, but it gets worse. <laughs> Think about the kind of allocations you typically make in on-draw. Drawing objects, right? Things like paint, path, typeface, you get the idea. And what these classes have in common is they're all wrappers around native objects. You see, Android's 2D drawing system depends on a library called Skia. And Skia is written in C++. Now, a lot of the classes in Android.Graphics actually aren't much more than wrappers around native C++ objects. And C++ objects have destructors. You have to explicitly call the destructor before you can reclaim the object's memory. Now, that means running finalizers, and that's never good per for performance. And the destructors have to synchronize on the native heap lock, among other things. So there's always the chance that they're going to block the UI thread for long enough to drop a frame. In other words, constantly creating and abandoning graphics objects is essentially like telling the system that you'd really like your app to be interrupted at unpredictable intervals for an unspecified length of time. So do yourself a favor. Move all of those allocations out of onDraw. The refactoring tools in Android Studio make this easy. So you use extract field to move those objects out of onDraw and into the main body of the class that can be reused. Now, if possible, make those fields static. That way you can reuse the objects between multiple instances of your class. That's especially a good move if your view is used in a list item, because in that case, it's going to be created multiple times. Now, you might even consider moving the fields into package scope. That way you can share them between multiple views. Moving allocations out of onDraw is a simple way to make a positive change in your app's performance. It's quick, and it's easy, and it almost always makes a difference. Of course, it's not magic. Like most performance patterns, moving your allocations won't make your app buttery smooth all by itself. And that's exactly why you should visit the Android Performance Patterns homepage and get more great tips and tricks. And don't forget to join our Google Plus group. And remember, keep calm, profile your code, and as always, Perf matters.